The winds of change are swirling through Buckingham Palace, King Charles III's recent title pronouncements have sent ripples of both celebration and discontent. While Prince Edward beamed with pride upon receiving the Duke of Edinburgh title, whispers abound of a brewing tempest across the pond. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is reportedly seething over the perceived snub of her son, Archie. This reported discontent is particularly perplexing. After their public departure from royal duties Prince Harry and Meghan Markle vehemently distanced themselves from the constraints and titles of the British monarchy. Their narrative painted a picture of yearning for a life of normalcy free from the shackles of royal protocol. Yet, here we are, seemingly witnessing a U-turn so dramatic it would leave Formula One drivers dizzy. It's fair to acknowledge that King Charles did indeed elevate the status of Archie and Lilibet, finally granting them the titles of prince and princess. This decision was widely viewed as an olive branch, a royal reconciliation aimed at healing the wounds of Megxit. However, according to sources close to the Sussexes, this appeasement hasn't satiated Meghan's desire for recognition. The crux of the alleged discontent appears to be the speculation surrounding the future Duke of Edinburgh title. Following Prince Edward's investiture, whispers suggest the king intends for this prestigious title to eventually land on Prince Louis, the youngest son of Prince William and Kate Middleton. This reported future bestowal has ignited a firestorm within the Sussex camp. If media reports are to be believed, one has to wonder what exactly Meghan Markle finds so appealing about the trappings of a life she so publicly renounced. Is the allure of titles and grandeur too strong to resist? Is this reported outrage a carefully orchestrated attempt to remain relevant in the public eye? These are questions that royal watchers are left to ponder. The truth is, titles hold significant weight within the British monarchy. They represent not just privilege, but a carefully constructed hierarchy. Prince Louis fourth in line to the throne holds a more pivotal position in the future of the monarchy than Archie, who is now seventh. King Charles's decision, from a pragmatic standpoint, seems sound. However, the narrative being spun by some corners of the media paints a different picture. Meghan Markle is being portrayed as the slighted duchess, the one whose son is being unfairly overlooked. This calculated portrayal serves only to further divide the public and paint the monarchy as an institution steeped in outdated traditions. One can't help but wonder if this is precisely the effect Meghan Markle desires. Does she crave the notoriety, even if it casts a shadow over the institution that embraced her? Perhaps the answer lies not in palace pronouncements, but in the way the situation is being manipulated in the court of public